This is just a short video here on how to take a conch shell and make it into a usable horn that you can use to, uh, I use mine at football games and sporting events. They really produce a lot of noise. Matter of fact, they're, I've read that they're recognized by the Coast Guard as a international signaling, signaling device because they are so loud. But to make one, get you a conch shell. It can range anywhere from length. Uh, I found the best size is to use about six to nine inches. This one here is seven inches, and it produces a very good tone. Looks like so. And what you do, you take a hacksaw. This end right here normally sticks out a little ways. Just take a hacksaw and you cut off just a little section at the time until you get a hole. And on some of them, you might not get a hole. It might be solid. If it is, you just take a drill and uh, set it, a drill like on medium speed or a good sharp drill bit and drill out a center section there and then take something and enlarge the hole like a little needle file or I used a Dremel tool on mine with a little grinding attachment and then you use a file and a Dremel tool and sandpaper to smooth out the rough edges and uh, there's a guy here on the internet his name is uh, Matthew Bennett his screen name on YouTube is uh, Black Lungs Joe, but you can find it by going to YouTube and in the search bar just type in Black Lungs Joe and that will take you to his page on there. And he actually can play a conch horn and make music with it. He can get uh, individual notes and actually play entire songs, melodies, using his conch horn. He's got several of them on there and I've sent him messages and he uh, replied to me that he was going to uh, do a video and explain his technique and how to get individual notes from a conch shell and uh, maybe some some of you out there might try to learn how to play one like he does. There's another guy named Steve Chere who plays one. He's a professional trombonist that actually tours the world. But in my opinion, Matthew Bennett can actually play the conch shell better than Steve Chere. Like I say, that's just my opinion, but I've listened to both of them. And Matthew's technique, he can get more individual notes, it appears to me anyway, than Steve Chere can. Steve Chere actually will use... Uh, a lot of different conch shells just to play one song, whereas Matthew can get all the notes he needs out of one conch shell to play an entire song. But anyway, told you all that, and uh, I'm just going to blow this in here to give you an idea of what you can get out of one, just just blowing it. You know, I'm not trying to make any music on it, just show you how it sounds. And this is how you do it. You put your lips tightly together like you would, blow, would do if you're going to blow a trombone or a trumpet. Put your lips tightly together and you blow we get that kind of sound like that and press your lips tightly to the sound hole on the conch shell horn and blow it and you'll get a sound like this very nice very nice anyway uh, good luck to you all and thanks for listening and watching